Hello, Capstone judges. Our project is on cyber physical systems and spectrum sensing as a service. The project was focused on what spectrum sensing did and how it can be leveraged as a service for CPS. In our project, we will go a little further and compare it to an alternative service known as federated learning. Our environment was built in a VM using VMware Workstation Pro. We use Ubuntu 20.04 and utilize NS3 as our network simulator. This is chosen because it has integration with OpenAI Gym, which uses deep learning, and this is our focus. With these modules, we were able to utilize a basic network and test the deep learning agent. The goal of the agent is to ensure no collisions happen. This means with trying to use a channel that is already taken. Um, furthermore, it will also determine the quality and connection of the network uh, to that channel, and if it is no good, it'll find one different. In the graph we have included, this captures a 400 episode test, which means it switched channels 400 times in an allotted amount of time. The results from the graph show that it, as it bounces from channel to channel, it's determining the right course in choosing the channels. So if you look briefly at the uh, chart in the PowerPoint or on our poster, you'll see that it slowly starts at a low time then gradually works its way up before finally peaking and then coming back down and normalizing. That normalization is, is that straight line that you see at roughly mm, 85 to uh, episode 100. Um, this means that the deep learning agent realized that there was no benefit in it sitting at a long time in a channel versus uh, one second, two seconds. It, it figured the sweet spot to be 15 seconds, occasionally jumping up to, to, to ensure that reinforcement was there and then coming back down. And you finally see it roughly at about 3.05 where it really stabilizes. Um, while our testing is not thorough enough to give a definitive answer, we do believe that leveraging spectrum sensing as a service would provide beneficial to CPS and the overall security of the network due to it being able to recognize patterns and learn from it. So this means maybe catching potential malicious attacks where uh, they keep sending um, potential malicious packets and it's figuring out that this is not the correct um, location that it should be coming from or originating from and it can then learn from that and block it all together potentially. Um, so yeah, uh, if you want to learn more and read our paper, you can scan the uh, QR code that we provided at the bottom of the uh, poster. And uh, we look forward to you reading our work. Thank you and have a nice day.